Hello everyone, this training is on signature gathering to get candidates on the ballot in your state or your district. My name is Michael Pickens, I'm the founder of an organization titled Libertarian Leadership. Uh, our mission as an organization is to empower libertarian candidates and activists to reach their full potential. First and foremost, I'm a libertarian activist. I'm the former chairman of the Libertarian Party of Washington, former Northern Vice Chairman of the Libertarian Party of California. In California, when I was Northern Vice Chairman, uh, the state of California basically changed uh, some of the election laws saying that to be a recognized political party, you had to have a certain number of registered voters. We were about 10,000 registered voters short. So I went to the Secretary of State's office and actually picked up 10,000 voter registration forms, uh, delivered them around the state of California, and also we went around and, and registered voters. My brother even came out and helped out. Uh, this is Batman and Iron Man registering as Libertarians. I also helped get Gary Johnson on the ballot in 2012 in Washington, D.C., uh, and Bruce Major, who is running for D.C. delegate. We got over 5,000 uh, signatures in about three weeks. Uh, also collected signatures uh, to get some local candidates on the ballot. This is here in Spokane Community College. Uh, we collected over 70 signatures here. Uh, collected signatures pretty much all over the place for many candidates, many initiatives. Uh, and the reason why I bring all this up is to show you that, hey, I'm not just someone who doesn't know what they're doing trying to tell you what to do. I've actually been there. I've collected thousands of signatures over the years. I know what it takes. So this training is me giving my experience to you to kind of show you what I learned through the process so you don't have to make the same mistakes. So let's talk about liberty. We always have to start with our why, the reason why we're even thinking about collecting signatures. Why do we need to get a, our candidate on the ballot? And the, the reason's pretty simple, right? We need to win elections. We need to get libertarians elected to office to turn our government around. We're going in the wrong direction and it's up to us to do something. We have to ask ourselves a question. What do I care about that is being threatened by authoritarianism? We all have different reasons. Right. One of my reasons is that half of my paycheck disappears every time I get paid from the government stealing from me right through taxation. So what is it that you care about? Could you better provide for your family if the government wasn't taking so much money? Um, are they trying to steal your your Second Amendment rights? Right. The right to defend ourselves. What is it that you care about? right? Your children's future, your grandchildren's future. Think about that. There's a lot of things that are being threatened right now. What do I want to give back to the world, right? A lot of people go through life and they have no purpose. They have no mission. We have a mission. We have a purpose. We're going to turn this around. It's going to be up to us. The Libertarian Party and Libertarians in general are the only political organization and philosophy that is ethically sound, right? We're the only ones that are pro-liberty on every issue. What do I want to be known for or what is the legacy that I want to leave? Do we want to be known by our children and grandchildren for our long stints on the couch or by the positive action that we took to try to protect their future and our futures? Right? Imagine the world our children and grandchildren will inherit if we fail. Now think about it. Look at the world we have now. There's so many things wrong with it. It's up to us to make that positive change, the positive difference. And it starts with getting our candidates on the ballot. If we don't have ballot access, then the, you know what's the point, right? So we gotta get started. So you've got your clipboard in hand, right? And you've got random dude with jean jacket and red shirt that you gotta convince to sign this petition to put your candidate on the ballot. I'm gonna tell you exactly what to say right now, what questions to ask, right? You start the conversation up with a smile, positive attitude, and you say, hi, do you think we should be able to vote for any candidate we want to? Pause, right? Do you think we should be able to vote for any candidate we want to? Pause. Most people will say yes. If they don't say yes, he's probably a dick and he's just not gonna sign anyways, right? So don't worry about that. So when he says yes, hi, do you think we should be able to vote for any candidate we want to? They're gonna say yes. You respond, great. We're collecting signatures so we can get on the ballot. Will you do us a huge favor and sign? Pause. 
Now that's the basic script and I'm going to go through it again, right? But before I go through the script again, I'm going to go through some reactions that you may get. Now, when people walk up to you, whether you're petitioning in front of a grocery store, whether you're at a park, at an event, whatever it is, right, going door to door, you're going to get a number of different reactions. Some people will actually, when they're walking up to you, they'll wave like, no, thank you, no, thank you, right? They don't, they don't want to deal with it. And that's fine. That's okay. You're going to get some of those people. That's all right. They have the freedom and the liberty to not sign you know, to not be bothered while they're going in the store, and that's totally cool, right? But what happens when you do ask someone to sign and they say no, right? No thank you. Well, did your situation get better? Did it stay the same or did it get worse if they said no to signing your petition? Well, the funny thing about this is your situation actually got better. So did it get worse? Well, let's think about it. Did you have their signature before you talked to them? No. Do you have their signature now? No. Your situation, you know, you're pretty much in the same spot. However, you know not to ask that person again, right? And you maybe got a little bit of experience when talking to people. Maybe you said something wrong. Maybe you, you stuttered and you needed some practice. And the practice actually helps. Every no you hear will help build your confidence uh, to be able to continue to hear no, to get to the yeses. So what happens if they say maybe, right? Or they, they ask more questions. Okay, well, who's your candidate you're trying to get on the ballot, right? Who are you getting petition signatures for? And then that's an opportunity to answer that question, to talk a little bit more about the Libertarian Party. You know, a maybe is a good thing as well. And then you have the people who are like, a libertarian on the ballot yes let me sign that I will go ahead and sign this petition so most people believe that there's two paths in life right two paths to get to a desired outcome the desired outcome in this situation uh, is to get a yes to get the signature on the petition so our candidate can get on the ballot right so as far as the two paths in life uh, most people think that one leads to success and the other leads to failure, right? What successful people know is that there's gonna be a bunch of failures along the way to get to that success. To get to the yes, to get to that signature, you're gonna go through some no's and that's just part of the process. When you break the word fail down, F-A-I-L, uh, it's an acronym, first attempt in learning. You're gonna go through this process and that's okay. You're gonna learn, uh, you know what to say correctly and you're gonna practice that until you're able to say that off the top of your head not reading from a script nothing like that at all and Michael Jordan had a great quote about this I have failed over and over and over again in my life and that is why I succeed right there's a great book on this this is one of my favorite absolute favorite books on sales buy this book it's called go for no it's about 70 pages there's pictures and the the font the text size is big so it, you can read it in less than 40 minutes super easy and it's super impactful as well so let's go over the script again hi do you think we should be able to vote for any candidate we want to of course the answer is going to be yes we get them started by answering yes do you think we should be able to vote for any candidate we want to nodding your head yes right that's going to be the answer great we are collecting signatures so we can get on the ballot will you do us a huge favor and sign yes thank you very much have a great day we have to remember a positive attitude will lead to positive outcomes we have to understand that we're dealing with people. Sometimes they're gonna be in bad mood, sometimes they're gonna be in good mood, sometimes they're gonna be negative, sometimes they're gonna be positive, doesn't matter. As long as we have the positive attitude that we're gonna collect the signatures that we need, we will be successful. We have to approach everyone and every situation like uh, they're a friend that we haven't seen in a while. Okay, every person we talk to, right? Who knows what people are going through right now? right some people may be in bad moods some people may be in great moods we never know we just take our chances we talk to as many people as possible and we have fun with the process right and as we go through it and the more people we ask we're gonna level up so if you guys you guys have ever played uh, video games 
right? Video games, you have a character, and in that game, you, you have missions, and you have quests and adventures, and you go through and you defeat enemies, and as you defeat enemies, what do you get? You get experience points, and the more experience points you gain, you're going to level up. When I first started collecting signatures, let me tell you what, I was nervous, right? I was sweating. Um, you don't really know what to expect. Right, but as you start collecting signatures and as you start talking to people, you're going to gain experience, right? To where eventually, when you hear a no, it doesn't phase you whatsoever. In the beginning, it may phase you. You may feel rejected, but as long as you remember that hearing a no is just going to get you closer to the yes, and the more no's you hear, the more yeses you're going to hear, it's going to make it so much easier. Warriors are not always the fastest or strongest men. Strength and speed can be developed through training. Warriors are those who choose to stand between their enemy and all the, that he loves or holds sacred. All right, think about that. Strength and speed can be developed through training. The more you practice, the more you go out and collect signatures, the better you're going to get and the, the more confidence you're going to have. And it, it's going to become easy where you can just start talking to anyone, anywhere. Beginning, you know, you may be an introvert, but that's okay, the more you practice, you can actually move through that, and you can become really good at talking to strangers, right? We're all conditioned as children not to talk to strangers, never talk to strangers, right? Where now, in the real world, as adults, we need to be able to talk to strangers. If we're in sales, whatever it is, collecting signatures especially collecting signatures in politics we have to be able to talk to strangers start conversations out of nothing and get a signature get it to where they like us they like our attitude and they're gonna sign our petition to get our awesome candidates on the ballot so as we go through this uh, we may come up to fear right when we get started maybe we haven't built our confidence level high enough so fear is another acronym we've got two choices when fear comes up Right, forget everything and run, or face everything and rise. That's what we have to do. We have to go out there and collect the signatures necessary to get our candidates on the ballot. Once our candidate is on the ballot, now we're able to influence people in a whole other way. So I love this picture right here. Right, you got a guy uh, in front of a crowd with a whip. He cracks it. Everyone bends down except for you and me. We don't bend down right we go out and we start collecting signatures and we start posting it on Facebook that we're collecting signatures we create the Facebook event that we're going out and collecting signatures pretty soon other people are gonna see oh well Michael's going out and collecting signatures maybe I'll join him or maybe I can ask him how I can be involved because they see us doing it and we go out and we bring people with us and we show them and we lead by example and we start off the conversation we start off collecting signatures here just watch me I'm gonna start collecting signatures you can listen to what I'm gonna say and then when you're ready and you feel comfortable you can start asking people for signatures as well right because I stand I'm standing up showing people what to do other people are able to stand up as well following my lead because I'm leading by example and taking action and pretty soon there's gonna be a big group of us taking action because of our activity the important thing is to concentrate upon what you can do by yourself upon your own initiative you won't believe how many times I've heard someone say when I was in leadership in the Libertarian Party that the Libertarian Party should just do this or if the Libertarian Party did this what people need to understand is that the Libertarian Party is just a concept it's an organization it's an idea it doesn't really exist concrete it's made up of individuals and that's what exists so for us to build this organization we're gonna have to take action as individuals to collect these signatures to do the things that are necessary for us to be successful as an organization so let's do a recap really quick when we're going out uh, collecting signatures hi do you think we should be able to vote for any candidate we want to well yes I think we should be able to do that great we're collecting signatures so we can get on the ballot will you do us a huge favor and sign now if they say no or they ask questions you know well, well what is it right what is it exactly well this petition actually says that we should have the right to be on the ballot 
And that's what you're saying. You're not saying that you support us or that you're going to vote for us come November. This is just saying that you agree that we should be on the ballot. Right? Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. That is a script that you're going to say hundreds of times, thousands of times. Practice it in the mirror. Write it down on a card, an index card when you're going out to gather signatures. Right? You can even write it on another piece of paper and have it at the bottom in the back of your clipboard to remind yourself what to say in between and you're gonna eventually remember it and rehearse it because you're saying it so many times that's the end of the signature gathering training um, you can get more information there's a bunch more training at libertarianleadership.org you can even download a free copy of my book libertarian leadership and eventually we're going to have all this stuff put together in an online training platform any libertarian around the world can get trained at any time keep track of progress going through the modules so we can all be successful get libertarians elected to office thank you guys so much for watching this we'll see you at the next video training or even at one of our live trainings thank you so much